MLT Effects is an application which you can find at the bottom left of the timeline, on the timeline itself. It will eventually replace what's known as the old effects application, but both will exist until some remaining features are moved across. When using these applications, you need to remember that MLT effects and effects are, in most cases, not compatible. If you create an effect in one, you cannot transfer the history to the other. Most of the time, MLT effects will be the application you use, with effects being used for particular functions such as paint, templating and custom transitions. The differences in functionality will be clearly indicated where required. When you press the MLT effects button, the menu appears above the timeline. The processes are at the left of the menu and expand across the screen as options are selected. They also reorder as processes are applied. If a change is made inside the menu, a pink box appears next to the process to indicate an effect has been applied. Turning this pink box off will hide the effect, but not remove it. To remove any applied process, click on Delete and then on the process. This technique can be applied throughout the effects menu to remove processes or parts of processes. Additional processes can be added by clicking on the grey plus symbol to the left of the process. The keyframe graph is hidden at the bottom of the menu. Hover over the second grey line above the timeline. When it goes yellow, click and drag upwards to reveal the graph. Click and drag down to minimise. Clicking on the desk button at the bottom left of the screen will hide the desktop and bring the MLT effects menu full screen. There are three different ways processes can be applied to segments, to tracks, or to the whole timeline. The default is segment, indicated by an orange box around the segment the effect will apply to. If using multiple video layers, track filters can be used to control which segment will be affected. Not having the orange box around a segment before starting to create an effect is one of the most common mistakes made when working with multiple layers. To affect all segments on a track, select Track to the left of the track filters. The orange box will highlight all segments on that track and apply effects to all selected. Clip effects can be found to the left of the frame rate at the bottom left of the timeline and will highlight all tracks and all segments. Clip effects has priority, then track, then segment, so if you apply a DVE to the segment but then desaturate using track, all of the segments on that layer will be black and white, but only one segment will have the DVE applied. A red and black unrendered indicator will appear at the far right of the timeline next to the audio level bars. This shows how well unrendered frames are being played out. If there are segments that need rendering, an orange bar will appear in the dark grey area above the clip segment, and a gold box will appear at the far right of the timeline above the mute and solo boxes. Click on this box to start rendering. The box will be purple while the render is in progress, and a purple progress bar will appear above the segment currently being rendered. The box will be grey when the render has finished, or if there are no clips that need rendering.